I didn't shave my legs for weeks in order to avoid with my fiancé. My sandpaper completely killed his passion. And that was exactly what I wanted. Sorry, honey. I spent all day planning the wedding. I had no energy left to shave. I promised him that on our wedding night, my legs would be perfect. Pete didn't know I had my fingers crossed behind my back and that I was going to say no at the church. However, my plan was in jeopardy. A month before the wedding, Pete's mother almost figured everything out. It all happened at the bridal salon. when she was shocked that I had chosen the first dress I saw. Don't you care how you will look on the most important day of your life? I knew that Pitt's mom liked my friend Christy, so I called her for help. Christy said yes to my choice and continued looking for her bridesmaid dress. Well, if Christy approves it, then I'm fine with it. That called me down, but that feeling didn't last. That evening, Pete discovered that my parents were not on the guest list. I know that they were against our relationship. But I thought that they would at least come to the wedding. I told him that my parents had given me a check as a gift, an impressive amount of money that could easily compensate for their absence. Yet, that didn't put Pit at ease. He was wondering who would walk me down the aisle. I said that John, one of our mutual friends, would do it. Didn't you say your friends replaced my family. Pete gave in, but I knew he still had his doubts. To make sure no one else suspected me, I invited my friends to a bachelorette party. There was an open bar, and I even had the most popular singer at time present. The girls squealed with delight so much that they even forgot whose party it was. But I didn't care, because my plan was working. Who would think that I wasn't going to get married after blowing so much money on a party? The wedding day finally came, and my fiancé's friend proudly walked me down the aisle. John whispered in my ear, asking me how he looked. So I decided it was time to start saying what was on my mind. You look like a roasted goose. You're blushing and your fat is dripping. John realized that something was wrong, but he couldn't do anything because the ceremony had already started. Should anyone present know of any reason that this couple should not be married, speak now or forever hold your peace. I turned around and looked at everyone. Pitt's friends and family were silent. That made me smile. After all, the priest addressed them. Darling, what's wrong with you? The priest asked Pete if he was willing to marry me, and he said yes. I, on the other hand, said no. The guests were shocked, but I had a speech prepared. How can you lie in church? How can you pretend not knowing? Almost all the guests knew that Pete was cheating on me. They knew who he was cheated on me with, and even encouraged him. 
His mistress was Christy, the bridesmaid. Unfortunately, I found out about it too late, as I could have just slept him and left for good. Still, I decided that those who had lied to me deserved some public disgrace. You knew that Pete didn't want me. He wanted my father's money. And yet you came here. What did you want to celebrate? I told them not to let it all go to waste and celebrate Pete and Christie's wedding. You already got the dress, so go right ahead. I left the church and didn't look back. Pete, of course, never married Christie and continued his guest for a human ATM. Soon after that, I returned to my parents' house. I didn't know how mom and dad would react, but they didn't even touch the subject. After all, I'd already learned the most important lesson. Flowers of deceit have an alluring fragrance, but bitter fruits. Don't wait for them to ripen. Cut the tree down right away. My husband refused to get into bed with me hmm, until I shaved all the hair on my body. It's disgusting to look at you, let alone touch you. Roger thought I had neglected myself. When in fact, I was just tired of the terrible rashes and irritations after each shaving session. The doctor said the only thing I could do was endure it. But I decided that instead of shaving every day like I used to, I'd only do it when I wanted to. Are you serious? It's just hair! There is nothing left to discuss. It's disgusting. All women endure scary irritations. And so should you. I thought Roger appreciated me for something other than my smooth legs. How <laughs> wrong was I? <sighs> when I walked downstairs the next morning, my husband was already awake and even had his swim trunks on. I decided to have a pool party. You don't mind, do you? I saw all our friends in the backyard. <gasps> I knew right away what Roger was up to. He was sure that I wouldn't dare appear in front of everyone, looking so inappropriate. But I firmly decided that I would stand my ground. So I went out to the guests wearing my most revealing bikini. Lily, you look great. Our friends stared and whispered, but didn't dare say anything to my face. Unlike their kids. <laughs> Ma'am, you look like a man. <laughs> Our friends couldn't help but laugh. But I decided to ignore it. <laughs> Roger, however, <laughs> blushed so hard that he looked like a red-hot grill. <laughs> Yet something more unpleasant was going to happen to him. As I was bringing the guys some beers, 
hurt them, taunting Roger. Did you know that Roger loves fewer clothing? I didn't. Sadly, <laughs> my husband didn't stand up for me. And just left it off. That's why I bought exactly this dog. The talk about my body hair died out. <laughs> and as soon as the guests left, Roger started packing. Satisfied? You embarrassed me in front of everyone. I've had enough. I'm leaving. <gasps> you can keep enjoying your disgusting naturalness. It hurt me so much to find out that after so many years together, my husband only cared about the way I looked and not my personality. Ironically, I had a hand in it. I worked as an editor for a women's magazine for many years and instilled beauty standards into the readers. Yet, I decided to give up everything that I'd been selling to women for years. Cosmetics, beauty injections, painful anti-cellulite massages. Finally, I didn't have to check for running mascara. Smeared lipstick. Or a messy hair. And that was the most comfortable I've ever felt as a woman. My girlfriends had a different opinion and assumed that my change was nothing more than a divorced woman's cry for help. They were constantly trying to set me up with someone. Wow. And after oh. I refused, they decided that it was time for me to get mm -hmm. some professional help. Dr. Smith is a very good specialist. He will help you. I was <gasps> shocked by the fact that those closest to me would rather believe that I was depressed than accept that I didn't want to torture myself anymore. Not to mention strangers. So, in order to fight that narrow-mindedness, I wrote a big article for a magazine in which I told my personal story hmm. and exposed the corporations that imposed beauty standards on us just to sell their products. Hmm. Then, I used a model with unshaven armpits on the cover. The special edition of the magazine caused a sensation, and we sold a record amount of copies. Everyone was talking about my article, especially the owner of the magazine, who was furious. In my office, now! As it turned out, the advertisers threatened to leave, and my boss accused me of sabotage before firing me. Not only that, but he let me know that he would sue me. I'll squeeze every last penny out of you. No lawyer agreed to defend me. And those who did demanded a huge fee. I was desperate. Was my right to be myself, to choose whether to shave or not, to wear makeup or not, going to bankrupt me. Still, I didn't give up and kept thinking of other ways of solving the problem. <gasps> Suddenly, Roger came back. I thought he was there to discuss property division which was the last thing I needed at that moment. Then I noticed the magazine in his hands. Roger said that he came by to apologize. 
I read the article and finally understand how you feel. I am ashamed that I didn't support you. After all, I still love you. Mm. Roger gave up his share of the property so that I could afford a lawyer. The case turned out to be a high-profile one. So much that even some celebrities came out to support me. They created a hashtag online and started posting photos of their unshaven legs and armpits. I won the trial and received a huge compensation, which I used to start my own magazine. Roger and I got back together, and when I decided mm -hmm. to thank him for his support, he noticed that I shaved my legs again. But why? You don't have to do this. Did something happen? That's the point. Nothing happened. I just felt like doing it today. Everyone has the right to look the way they want, and it's no one else's business.